Hello all, TechGeek311 here. Got another iPhone 101 to show you today. Alright, today on iPhone 101, we're going to go into the settings app and I'm going to show you a feature that's not really well known. Some people know it, some people have used it. Uh, you can use this feature on the iPhones, you can use it on the iPod Touch. It's basically used in situations where, let's say your home button stops working, it's unresponsive, you broke it, something happens that way. Well this will give you the ability to use your home button anywhere you want on your phone as well as being able to access some important features. So to get to this assistive touch feature we're going to go into the settings. Under settings we're going to go under general. From general, we're going to scroll down to the bottom to you see accessibility. It's the second to the last on the bottom. Click on accessibility, and this is going to give you stuff for people who maybe have vision problems or certain disabilities. That's what this section is for. But we're not going to use those right now. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here to physical and motor. And this is what's going to be assistive touch. So we go to Assistive Touch and as it says here, it allows you to use your iPhone if you have difficulty touching the screen or if you require an adaptive accessory. So we're going to turn it on. Creating new gestures, we're not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so now we're going to get out of here. Let's go back out. And I'm going to use my home button. Now you notice I have this little dot that appeared on the screen. A little dot I can move anywhere I want. When I tap on that dot, now you're going to get a uh, sort of like a menu that tells you you can use your home button, your device, and your favorites. So if I click on the home button, as you notice it gives me the same home button function. If I click on device, it's going to give me a chance to use any one of my device features. Click on more, it will give me some gestures. You can also go through each gesture if you want. You can hit that little arrow in the center. It'll take you back to where you were before. You have your favorites. So you can add favorites in there. You also have Siri. And that will give you Siri. So pretty much what this does is this allows you to have your home button anywhere you want on your phone. Being able to use it however you wish to use it you can scroll it around, you can have it on any page you want doesn't make a difference, it can be on the top, it can be all the way on the bottom down your home screen, wherever you want to do with it and it just gives you the ability if let's say you want to double tap it to even go to multitasking access what you want to access if you're in your device give you the chance to use your device settings so it's just another way of accessing the features on your phone in case you have a home button troubles and all that. Alright, so that's just a quick iPhone 101 give you an idea about assistive touch. If you don't want to use it anymore, like I said, you go back into your settings, go back under general, scroll to accessibility, go to assistive touch and turn it off. And if you notice when I come back out, it's no longer there. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, just give you an idea about Assistive Touch in case you guys want to use it. And uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe below, uh, like this video, and I will catch you guys later with some more. Thanks for watching.